All right, guys, just a little video today. So uh, I've been able to work much at all this week. I've been trying to sort out the dash cam. I've had the kids, uh, the school runs. I just haven't been able to work much. I'm going to smash the work over the weekend and tonight. Uh, but as for, for now, um, one of the lads just sent me this job he had from the weekend. It was about half 11 midnight. I think it was on Saturday night or Sunday night. Um, but it was out in the sticks where there's not many Uber drivers. It was, I think, Ormskirk it was. So not many Uber drivers. So obviously I'm guessing someone's left a party, said to the head off, and uh, it's ridiculous. Uh, so it's an XL job. Um, it is an XL job. And um, you got around £15 for 0.8 miles. I'll, try, I'll put it up on the screenshot there. But if you work that out per mile, that's nearly 19 19 to 20 pound per mile. I think it works out to like 19 pound 20 per mile um, rate. In my opinion, that is absolutely berserk. Do you know what I mean? Now, the good thing is about Sage, when it does Sage, I think myself personally, even coming from a driver and coming from a passenger, I'd probably say they need to cap. I'd say they've got to cap the upper limit of the high Sages because as soon as you see it on Red Raw, um, you don't get any jobs until the red rawness is gone or they'll tie over firms and stuff like that. So I think when it's stupid prices, I think obviously over in this case, because obviously it was six people going a mile, sharing 15, it's not too bad. But if they were going 10 mile, they would never have paid that price. They would have waited or walked or got a bus. And I think sometimes with Sage, it does need to have a little cap where, yes, it goes up. The price is, the price is big. Yeah, and you, it's, it's a it's an, it's a good amount for you to pay. Everyone's happy to pay it, even though it's an increased amount. But when it goes crazy, honest to God, I, I've sat Sunday morning, 2 a.m., and it's red raw, I'm not going to single request, because no one's going to pay that money. Do you know what I mean? You get the odd rare time where people pay it, but generally, when it goes red raw, you don't get any jobs. It's, um, it's a bit mad. So in my personal opinion, they should cap the surge to a little bit lower, maybe like a... Two and a times two and a half, something like that, times three. But I think it's still times four, isn't it? I'm not too sure. But that rate is ridiculous. So if the cost, if he got fifteen pound for zero point eight miles, the customer could have paid twenty pound, twenty two pound, twenty four pound, depending on you know the dynamic pricings. Like it's up the wall, but the, I reckon maybe twenty quid, twenty five quid. The customers paid there. For 0.8 mile, guys. How mad is that? Do us a favour. Let me know in the comments. Is that the most per mile you've ever seen? Or can you beat that? Be honest. In, be honest. When I done the video last week about uh, my shortest trip, I had people private messaging me with their screenshots and everyone going, rah, rah, rah. and the lads in my WhatsApp group, they were all sending me theirs. And I did get beat. There was actually someone who went 0.1 miles. And they, they, they beat my 0.2 miles. So can anyone beat this? So the way you work out the pay um, price per mile is the way I done it. Is I divided £15.22 by the 0.8. And then times by 100 to figure out what it was for the one mile. But obviously if yours is like 70 quid for 10 mile, you can work it out at £7 per mile, can't you? So can you beat my, uh, my mate's per mile job? All right, listen, thank you very much for watching. Been a bit quiet this week on the channel. I've been dead busy sorting loads of stuff out. Um, and then obviously I'll be back to it. Uh, we'll do it a few hours tonight. We'll be working most of tomorrow and the weekend. Catch you all later, guys. Thanks for watching.